If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student, welcome you all to this new lecture of gate electrical circuits or network solution methods. So today again, I will be taking five questions from question number 101 onwards, 101 to 103, 104, and then 105. Okay, then let's try to solve these questions. So in the case of 101, what you see, the circuit shown in figure is in steady state. It is in steady state, the good. The circuit switch is S is closed at T equal to 0, assuming that the inductance is ideal, current through the inductor at T equal to 0 plus. Now, since it is steady state, because before switch was closed, it is steady state, that means all the current was flowing through it. That means before T equal to switch, before the switch was closed, the circuit was something like this. This was short circuited because inductor in the long run will get short circuit. Capacitor remains shorted, then it opens. Inductor open, then it shorted. So in, at the final time, inductor is shorted. So this is my switch. So before the switch is closed, before my switch, this is already shorted. Now if you, if you close it, there will be another shorted path. So both the paths are shorted. Current will go through, there will be no change in current. What current will change? Because it will be the same current flowing. So it is the shortest path. If you switch it on, then also it will be a shortest path. So already there is a shorted path. So current will follow this path only. Because it will give same only. There is no meaning of the giving two parallel short paths. In fact, there is a switch. You can think of there is inductor is ideal given so no resistance will be no it is zero resistance and in fact there may be some resistance in switch so all current will flow through the so it will continue in this way only so the the current through the inductor will be the same current that was before so what was this current that was before 10 by 10 1 ampere and the current doesn't change also through inductor unit so 0 minus it was 10 so 0 plus it will be also 10 uh, 1 ampere that is your option C. You apply this one, IL0 minus is equal to IL0 plus. So before the switch was closed, it is 1 ampere. So after switch close, it will be also 1 ampere. That's it, as simple as it is. In the figure given, uh, the initial capacitor voltage is 0. Then the switch is closed at T equal to 0. The finite steady state voltage across the capacitor is. Again, what we will do, we will use that Guru Mantra. So what is the uh, voltage across this? VCT, what is the final voltage? Then I can write it directly. I am not writing the formula. This is final plus initial minus final into to the power minus T by S. So what is the final voltage? This is the final voltage across this. What will be the final voltage? In case of final condition, steady state, if it is on for infinite time, this capacitor will get fully charged. So it will be open. So this voltage. So your circuit will like at infinity, at T equal to infinity, how your circuit will look like? This will be 20, this will be this much, and this capacitor is opened. And this is this much. So this voltage is the capacitor voltage. So what will be this voltage? So this voltage 20 will be divided into 10 is to 10 is to 10. That is 1 is to 1. So this voltage will be 10 volt. As simple as it is. So your final voltage is 10 volt. What is initial voltage? Yeah, initially it was uh, initial voltage was zero. So it is zero minus 10 into the what t minus what is RC? If you, if you open this capacitor and if you look around this, you will find this resistance and this resistance are connected in parallel, this and this. You, you are looking through this. So this 10, you can take this side also. So this and this, because this will be shorted. So 10, 10 parallel, it is 5. So RC is 5 into 10 micro. That is RC is equal to 5 into 10 micro. So it will be 50 microsecond. This is your tau, time constant. Okay, now what they are asking, the final steady state values across the, oh, final value, final value we have already considered, that is 10 volt. Unnecessary we have written this one. Now this is a common link question, 103 and 104. So let me calculate 103. The coil of inductance, uh, 10 ohm and resistance, 40 ohm. That means this is your coil. This is the complete coil. This is not separate. They are in same winding itself. Here it is given in separate. Don't think these two are separate. They are not isolated part it is one it is one you cannot separate this they are in built in same winding only you have l and you have r because it is not ideal inductor some resistance is there that is 40 so it is in the same coil so you think this is a same coil that is the main idea is connected shown in the figure after which switch has, has been contact with one for long time it was connected here for long time and it is moved to point 2 at t equal to 0 it is moved at t equal to 0 plus the voltage across the coil voltage across here is 120 volt the resistance r is equal to okay now because it was connected at infinite time at one so if you connected it one for a long time what will happen this will be short circuited that ideal portion inductor will get short circuited so current will be equal to that means il 0 minus before 
the switch was coming to 2 it was at 1 so that is my 0 minus 0 is here at t equal to 0 it is come at 2 so 0 minus will be equal to 120 divided by 20 plus 40 62 ampere so this is my il0 plus also so what is il0 plus circuit if you draw if you draw the il0 plus circuit this will be the il0 plus circuit this is 20 ohm and this is r we don't know and current i is flowing so from where this i is coming so this i will be of this fashion because if there is initial this is coming through that inductor and in the direction is this one so any initial current in inductor will also always represented by a parallel current source any initial voltage in the capacitor will be represented by a series suppose a capacitor is initially charged at 10 volt so we will give it in this direction 10 volt and that capacitor so that voltage is connected in series with the capacitor and we consider this is ideal capacitor no initial condition this capacitor we consider at zero so this inductor we consider at zero means zero initial condition and all the initial condition are given separately so it is ideal it is initially this inductor has initial no current this initial current has been given separately so initially it will look like open circuit so this current will flow so that was the idea because initially 2 ampere current would flow so this is 2 ampere this current so now you can think of this is my initial current uh, 2 ampere that is flowing from that inductor okay now you think this circuit now this circuit just because this is just switched on so this inductor will get open circuited because the initial condition we have separated now it becomes a normal inductor for me with no initial condition now we apply all the uh, properties of that inductor because now it is just switched on at t equal to 0 plus so this inductor will get open ok so now your current will pass through this path so now because we have separated this current now you look at the, this voltage is given 120 now what is the voltage of uh, polarity of this one because now this is as a source so this is delivering so delivering means this should be plus this should be minus for delivering power should come out of this so how uh, plus um, current should come out of plus then it will deliver otherwise if it enters the plus then it is absorbing like here this here the polarity will be plus minus because current is entering here it will be plus minus because it will absorb so if you would like take kvl that is ri plus 20 into i i means here 2 ampere so you can directly write 2 that minus 120 this voltage is given 120 that is zero they have not given polarity but you have to think because this is now supplying so this will be plus current should come out of plus then only it will supply so you, you will get r equal to 120 minus 40 that is 80 that is r equal to 80 by 2 that is 40 ohm. that is your option c for the value yes the time taken for 95 percent of the stored energy to be dissipated close to okay now it will want to dissipate 95 percent of the stored energy okay let us see how much energy it stored because uh, that energy will be dis dissipated how much energy it is sold because ultimately final current after what value it reached it reached up to for the it was charging till it is at one it start discharging when it comes at two so how much energy it stored up to one that means how much i it what is the maximum i it was flowing through it at that time when it was one it was two ampere so the charge is half energy is half li square so this is the maximum current that it took uh, at when it was at 1 this was the current flowing on half l l is 10 into i square i is 2 square so it is uh, 40 20 joule so this out of its 95 percent should be discharged that means energy that should dissipate is 19 joule so the remaining energy will be equal to 20 minus 19 1 joule should remain okay let me see now what is the current flowing through this circuit if i can calculate it so again that guru mantra will do what is the final current final current because it is initial current ultimately it will discharge it will discharge to zero there will be no current left so it will be zero and initial current it is two minus zero e to the power minus t by tau so again what is tau here tau is equal to l by r what is l l is here 10 by what is r if you look around the l the r is equal to 40 plus 40 plus 20 so 40 40 80 plus 20 100 so this is 1 by 10 this is means ultimately so it will be 2 e to the power minus 10 t so you got this current okay now you got this current and you know this one so when it is discharging that is half l suppose it is discharging suppose i is raised here then it is discharging this is your i this has reached 
2 ampere this was the 2 ampere that is the initial current now it started discharging now as long as it is discharging it, 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 its energy is also dropping so last, suppose it, it came up to I1 level when its energy dropped to 19 joule has been dropped 1 joule has been remaining ok so what is the level then half Li square Li1 square is 1 now because 19 has been dropped and now it is at I1 level now its energy is remaining at only at 1 joule so if you solve it you will find your I1 will be equal to L is here 10 if you put there your I1 you will get 10 means 5 1 by root 5 that is 0.4472 ampere around this you will find so now you see at what time the current is dropping at that value because you know the equation of this curve this is the equation of this curve it is dropping like this because it's 0 is here because discharge start from t equal to 0 because at that instance it is at 2 switching at 2 here it is switch at 1 here switches at 2 so at 0 from here it is discharging is started so from here up to how much time it take to reach 0 0.4472 because here at this level the energy at 1 energy is at 1 joule that is 19 joule has already been dissipated so now your IT, IT is 0 0.4472 2 into e to the power minus 10 t you can do it using calculator then you will find your t is equal to 0 0.15 second that is your option B the ideal capacitor is charged to a voltage V0 and then connected to a T0 across the ideal inductor L the circuit now connected at T equal to 0 circuit now consists of capacitor inductor if we let omega 0 equal to 1 by root LC the voltage across the capacitor now you can think it of this way because the capacitor is initially charged so that initial charge let me put it in this way and then this is the inductor so if you think it this way hmm, what is the initial voltage they have given V0 and this is C this is L ok so now because this is an LC you know it will be a um, oscillatory response but uh, if you know directly then it's ok or you can derive also so for deriving you can take Laplace then it will be easy so it will be V0 by S it will be SL it will be 1 by CS that is 1 by SC now if you calculate from here IS will be equal to once you know I then you can multiply I with L because this entire is the voltage across capacitor don't think this is the voltage across capacitor because you have separated this is your ideal capacitor now and the initial part you have given here so if you need to find the cap voltage across capacitor this is the voltage across capacitor not only this much because this you have done for mathematical analysis you have separated these two these two are in single identity so this plus this will be the voltage across capacitor so what you can do you can calculate I then multiply with this L and the voltage across this is the voltage across capacitor if you are calculating this voltage then this plus this will give you this so that's why you calculate this voltage across LS that will be easy so if you calculate IS your IS will be equal to V0 by S divided by LS plus 1 by SC which will be equal to if you do it it will be V0 by L 1 by S square plus 1 by LC if you do a little bit uh, then if you multiply it by s then it is s square this is lc suppose i am taking l common so this is lc this is also already they have also defined also omega 0 equal to 1 by root lc this is your is now what is i i need i need this voltage once i need this voltage then this voltage you can do it you can do is into this you will get this voltage then you have to add this voltage to find the voltage across capacitor but if i know the voltage there is no need because if you know the voltage across this inductor that is the same voltage across this one I am again mentioned if you are calculating this voltage then this plus this will be the voltage across capacitor so that's why without doing this two times I am doing just voltage across this so your Vs that is my required voltage if this is my Vs so it will be Ls multiplied by Is so if you multiply uh, LL will get cancelled it will be V0 S by S square plus 1 by LC which is nothing but V0 cos this is 1 by root LC because it is root lc square and this is given omega 0 so this is your option b this is your option b you can do it what i told you you can calculate this voltage 1 by sc into is then you have to add this one don't forget to add this one this will also give you the same answer as this one but here you have to do it two times that's why i am not doing both way you can do it easily also it will cancel out finally it will come like so this is also this voltage this is also this voltage because the capacitor voltage is not this much this is this plus this initial condition okay then that's all for today if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section